G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here, back for episode two of this little mini series about the Microsoft Lists mobile application. And in episode one, we took a look at uh, adding the app and also starting a new list from the, uh, the, the default templates that Microsoft provide with Microsoft Lists, and in particular, the expenses application. Now in this episode, we're just gonna take a quick look at how we can uh, add new list items, we can edit new list items, Items, and we can even use our device camera to be able to take photos of the product itself or the expense thing that we've purchased and also the receipt as well. So let's dive in and have a look. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up the lists application. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add the expense tracker app as a favorite. So we'll tap the three little dots and we'll add that uh, list as a, as a favorite. We can also rename, we can share, and we can delete that list. Let's go ahead now and open up the Expense Tracker app. You can see that there's a couple of things already added, and we can scroll across and have a look at the different columns there. Now, when we click the new button down in the bottom, we can add our item. So we can give it a title as you would expect. You can also add via a QR code there. Now, Let's tap on the add an image. So we're just gonna take a photo of the actual product. We can even use out the inking capabilities to be able to add a little bit more context or some, uh, some additional information there. So we've now added uh, an image of the product. Let's now just select a date uh, of purchase. We'll enter the amount here of the actual item itself. We'll now choose a category from the, the, the choice list there. We won't worry about a description and now we'll take a photo of the receipt. So we'll move across here, there's the receipt. Let's take a photo of that so we can add that to the list item as well uh, and upload that. We can then click the tick and we'll save that and that will automatically appear in the, in the list there. We can tap it, we can open it, we can edit it and we can change anything that we need to there as well. Let's now tap on the filter and see what we can do. So let's filter by the, the category column for the personal items. So we've now applied that filter. We can now change that. We'll flick it back over to hobby. We'll take off personal and we've now got the one item there. Now we can also um, we can also group our items as well. So when we tap on the group uh, icon down the bottom there, we can actually group by the visible columns as well. And this time let's group just by category. So we'll select category and our items are now grouped by that particular column there. We can expand them and we can contract them as well. All right, nice little feature there. Now. In addition to that, what we can do is actually in that product image uh, column, we can tap that and we can open the image straight away and we can delete that image directly from that screen. You can see that it's gone. When we tap that again, we're actually uh, we're actually taking another image and we're, we're, we're adding that image to the list item there uh, automatically for us. So another great little piece of functionality there. So we're now back on the home page, and we are we are done with adding our items. So as we can see. Uh, some great easy uh, functionality there to be able to add our list items and interact with our list items on the go, especially in that uh, in the in the uh, I guess the use case of expense tracking. A lot of times we're on our mobile device, we're purchasing items, or we're we're um, we're on the go in that in that respect. So we can actually take uh, use our device camera, take uh, images of the product itself, but also the receipts and add that to the list item. So. I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching episode two. If you haven't uh, caught episode one, have a look back uh, and, and take in episode one as well. And I will see you in the next episode.